Many predicted a first to second Ready, round out. knockout. But in the seventh round, we'll see if Manny can continue what he's done, and that's trying to break down Larios. He did a good job in the sixth round of doing exactly that. Larios to the left of your screen. In the blue. In the white is Manny Pacquiao, the third man in the ring. Bruce McTavish, the referee from New Zealand. He lives here, by the way, in the Philippines. Now we're seeing the Pacquiao jab doubling up, and that wasn't there for him earlier. So everything is opening up now for Pacquiao as Larios has slowed a bit. He's got to be frustrating uh, a bit for Larios. is doing what he has to and trying to tie up just to stay in this thing and then fire some right hands but when you fire the right hand again you cannot be short because if you are and you don't bring it back Pacquiao will nail you with that counter and that's exactly what he did and Lario spelt it and down he went only a flash knockdown he was able to jump back up but he's beginning to show some fatigue and he's in great physical shape but many are Manny Pacquiao is landing power shots out of Hitler's down, and now he hangs right. Now the legs are a little loose in the knees again. Watch his legs, folks, and that'll tell you where the head and the body is going. Hit Manny, throwing up shots. Six shots. He got an answer, but the fight's in danger of being stopped. Manny landing several unanswered punches right now. He started to break him down in the sixth, and he's finishing it here in the seventh. As Larios, who's already been down once here in the seventh round. And Bruce McCavish looks into the eyes of Larios to make sure he's okay. Still a lot of time for Larios to get through in round seven with a guy like Pacquiao coming right out of him. Don't hit him, don't hit him. As far as I'm concerned, all the questions and being in his home territory, he's answered that to this point so far. Manny can handle it. Yeah, great kid, by the way, as is Larios. Man, he's a wonderful, wonderful person, and so far he's been able to handle this huge adoration and success that his career has given him coming from the four streets. Mario's legs are all right, but they're certainly a lot more loose in the knees than he was a couple of rounds ago. And he's firing these shots and now trying to get caught on the got, counter. Yeah, he got pummeled by that right hand shot that time. And I see what Freddie Roach is talking about that Manny can come forward, that left shoulder and show a lot of power now with the right hand. There's another right hand shot to try, and the left. And now Larios' legs don't look slow, and he has to separate the very well. He came up, and he gets nailed, and Larios looks slow, and the referee gets in there, and takes that up over his shoulder. And at the Coliseum in Manila, the Philippines. The site of the Thrilla in Manila 31 years ago, Ali Frazier. They call him this here locally, the Thriller in Manila too. And Manny Pacquiao, to this point, has not disappointed his millions of fans here in the Philippines. Larios has been broken down the last couple of rounds and was knocked down in the seventh round. Pacquiao right in front of him now, looking for his opportunity to land a power shot. Larios still in there now. His legs are still a little bit sloppy. He's not 100% recovered. Then he just sort of slipped that time. and got to get his legs back underneath him. Since the fourth round, Pacquiao has been doing his best work, building, sustaining, popping inside, taking advantage of whenever Larios did not bring his hands all the way back. Larios is gritty and determined, but he is outgunned. And that's the point that we tried to make at the very outset of this show, that this guy can go your full 12 rounds than Oscar Larios, but can he stand up to the power? Well, he was dropped once by an inside shot. Watch your hit! And it was a flash knockdown. And he was able to jump right back up and get his standing eight count, which really gave him a chance to revive himself. And Manny Pacquiao, nice combination, right hand, then the left hand. And you can see the perspiration fly at the head of Larios, but his legs are okay right now. That one's right on top of where the cut is. So he's beginning to bust up the face of Larios as well. Manny having things his way right now. Don't forget this is a dead even fight after four. And Pacquiao, uh, Manny Pacquiao won five, six, and seven. So look at this combination. The body shots by Pacquiao slowing Larios down to the point 
who is not able to use as much of the ring as he was doing earlier. And so there's less recovery time for him. There's less time for his to, to regroup. And Pacquiao is all over him. Well, we knew that Larios would come in condition. We knew he'd be in shape. We knew in the heels of not being able to get down and wait against Israel Vasquez that this was going to be uh, a new weight classification for him that uh, was going to be successful, but not because of the power of Pacquiao has he been able to be successful, but he's made one whale of a fight out of it so far. And he showed up. I mean, that right hand yeah. in round three indicated that he intended to take his best chances in here. He's still alive. And he is. And now he is. And Larios shakes his head and says, okay, let's make it a war. That again is a mistake for Larios, but that's the nature of a prize fighter. These guys don't become boxers if they're not willing to engage. And this guy's willing to engage, and it could be to his detriment. But the long looping right hand partially blocked on the gloves of Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao right in front of him, looking to land a power shot. And it could come from either hand, left or right. And the bell ends the eighth round. Not as big a round for Pacquiao, but certainly winning the round. And the cut gets worse for Larios. Um, again, this is scheduled for 12. Bob Sheridan here with Dave Bontempo, our principals, Manny Pacquiao, in the white trunks with his back to you now, Oscar Larios of Mexico in the blue trunks. Came in here in great shape, paid the price like a Spartan, went to Japan to train in this time zone for five or six weeks. Came down here to adjust to the humidity in this area, and there's plenty of it inside in spite of the fact this arena is now air-conditioned. It's still very warm under the lights here. This is round number nine action. Manny tries to go to the body downstairs to reach Larios' miss. Larios is not as accurate with his punches now because there is a fatigue factor. And most of that is the to the power shots of Manny. When you can get to the body enough, but all of a sudden you can't line up your shots so well. But Pacquiao is zooming in on target practice here. A nice shot again with the left hand. It's just a little bit after noontime here on a Sunday in the Philippines. And I know it's late on the east coast of the United States and in the middle of the Saturday evening on the west coast of the U.S., but nobody's shutting their sets off no matter where you're watching around the world. This is an interesting fight, and there's millions involved for Manny because November at the NBA in Las Vegas is waiting for him. The third fight with Eric Morales. And that's one that, as I mentioned, Bob Barham is holding his tongue right now in his cheek, hoping that Manny comes out of this unscathed. People always hate after a fight is announced to see the guy take an interim fight because all kinds of things can happen, like a headbutt right here that can knock you back for a little while. And taking a, what they call a tune-up fight, this is more than a tune-up opponent. Uh, Larios, a former world champ, he was carefully picked, and that's part of the profession of boxing, but this guy is in great shape and has come here to fight. And not an easy task for a guy as a, a war hero. No such thing as a tune-up fight. Usually you get a tune-up and oil change and you get your whole car redone. That's that Judah. Carlos Baldemir surprised him. Oh, the hand speed of Pacquiao on the night. And now Manny goes with that left-hand power flea. Right hand in the face trying to position for a power shot. Faints around, rolls around to his right. Larios doing his best to hang in there to mount some sort of offense. Blood trickles from the left thigh as Manny touches him up again with the right hand. And he goes with the left hand lead this time, and that's what he's famous for. A straight left hand again, and here it comes again. A combination of punches by Manny. And the face is really busting up of Oscar Larios. Yeah, Pacquiao's punch percentage is up a lot in this round. He's getting through and getting through. And the bell ends the night. 